Hey everybody, Matt Windsor here with the Matt Windsor Real Estate Partners and Realty Executives. Hey, I'm super excited for our second of our Live Well series tonight on healthy living. And we have two awesome speakers for you that are gonna talk about how to jumpstart your healthy living, living through working out and also how to jumpstart your healthy living through supplements and answer some questions that you might have about what supplements are and how they can help you uh, through the journey. So first up, we have Jared from Functional Integrated Training. Jared's going to share about how a snowball effect can get you going on jumpstarting your healthy living. Jared? Thanks, Matt. Um, so Matt's going to share my slides uh, and we'll kind of walk through that process uh, together. But I want to give you guys a brief introduction about myself and my gym. So I am the owner of Functional Integrated Training. It is a gym located from this office that we're in right now, right down the hill. Uh, so in the corner of PD and Verona Road, in the same building as AMS, the car stereo place, uh, and Denise Quality Design. So we've been in business for almost 10 years now, and we call ourselves a train gym. What that means is you're going to come into our gym to train. You're going to be working with us as coaches. Uh, we're going to guide you, hold you accountable. Uh, and you're going to, whenever you come into the gym, be in a session that has a program designed for you and the group you're in. Uh, and then throughout, you're going to get feedback and coaching and guidance so that you can really get the most out of your workouts, make it very efficient and timely, um, while also not being married to the gym. We don't want you in the gym every single day. We want you to enjoy your active life and enhance it. So that's me. So snowball effect. So we've been uh, doing this for a long time and a lot of people kind of have the shotgun approach to working out. What that means is when they're gonna start the uh, process of working out, a lot of times it's three resolutions, right? So it's logical, January 1st was recent. Um, I'm gonna start my diet, I'm going to start working out and I'm going to try and sleep better, right? All at the same time. Well, the problem is, is one of two things happens. First, they do all those things and it works fantastically. But what was their catalyst as to why that happened, right? Other side of the coin is you do all those things and a lot of us, all of us probably have done this. You start all those things and then five days in, 10 days in, you drop everything, right? So how can we make this more effective, more efficient, not for that short term, but for the long term? And that's where we came up with the idea of the snowball effect, or at least the best way to explain our approach to this. Go ahead, Matt. So you guys all understand the snowball effect, right? Your snowball starts small, top of the hill, gets bigger, rolls down faster and faster and faster. Well, for us, we try to start this process, go ahead, Matt, next one, with working out, okay? So working out, the key part of this is to not overdo it, like I just said. Sometimes, and we'll hear this, people will say, oh man, I just started my workout routine and I worked out five days straight, eight days straight, right? Which is fine, except let's try and separate those things. Maybe we should be doing more training on one day and then moving on the next day. Get in a workout, go hard, and then recover from it. Go for a walk, enjoy your life, enjoy your family, your friends. Um, and so we take that approach and we've found that a three times a week, Kind of layout Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday works awesome. You train, you recover, you train, you recover, etc. And we have stats to prove that this actually works. So in the first month of training with us, we have 92% of our clients that attend 10 out of the 12 sessions in that first month, meaning three times a week, four weeks, 12 sessions, they attend 10 out of 12, 92%. 83% actually attend 100% of those 12 sessions, okay? In the second month, so now we'd be in the second month, so like we started in January, now we're talking about February to March, 82% attend, sorry, 78% attend all 24 sessions, and 82% attend at least 20 out of 24. So if you think about that, from January to January 1 to March 1st, okay? For a lot of people, that New Year's resolution has gone by the wayside in that time period. People have attended at least 20, uh, 24 sessions, like over three quarters of our new members, okay? So 
we found it to be really effective to get that snowball rolling, which then rolls into the next thing, which is sleeping better, okay? Sleep is the key to recovery. You have to stress the body out, but then when you sleep, you release things like human growth hormone, like insulin-like growth factor, the things that people have taken from a uh, performance standpoint in like professional sports, um, but you, you can actually create those automatically in your body, in your system, but you only do that during sleep. And so you can actually improve performance. You can actually regenerate, repair, rebuild your organ tissue, your skin, and of course your skeletal muscle, the things that you do to exercise and work out by sleeping better, okay? Now imagine this, because it's all happened to us, right? You have a night of poor sleep. What happens after that? Well, your glucose metabolism is impaired. What does that mean? It means that you can't digest the sugars that you intake nearly as well as you should, oftentimes resulting in you then having those sugars stored away as excess fat, okay? So one night of poor sleep, impaired glucose metabolism, then you wake up and now you want a big breakfast, lots of caffeine, lots of carbs to get your energy going, get the day going, except you don't digest those things well, right? And now talking about you throughout the day, not digesting well, those things are stored as fat and you're constantly looking for more energy, more quick energy, which we all generally know to be carbohydrates, right? But again, more sugar, not digesting them well. And then on top of everything else, you have an increase in the stress hormone cortisol in the afternoon due to your poor sleep, which tends to then force the body to store more energy as fat because it's kind of in this mode of preservation or survival. So now we've gone one night and we've consistently like double dipped into taking energy that we've meant to consume and digest and turn it into stored fat, okay? This is why we take a very, very significant time to go through and ask a bunch of questions when someone comes in on day one to our gym about their sleep. How do you sleep? What things affect your sleep? How much are you getting? Because when we do that, we find that in the first month, 70% of our clients that are pulled have said that their sleep improves from day one to day 30. And that's a huge deal. And now that snowball is rolling even faster. Next slide, Matt. Then eating healthier right? The one that everyone's always kind of worried about or tends to try and do at the same time as working out. Well, what is healthier, right? I kind of take a good, better, best approach to this. And this is just an example, but this is something that could happen or occur for a client of ours. So they start out with breakfast and it's in that good scenario, sort of like the, the cereal commercial, right? You've got your bowl of cereal, your milk, you've got your orange juice on the side, maybe your bowl of fruits and your coffee, okay? And as they learn, as they improve, as they realize, like, I don't actually need that glass of orange juice. Maybe I'll substitute water. Now we're getting better, okay? And then one step further, okay, I know that I struggle to get enough vegetables in. And when I eat vegetables, I feel fuller, longer. Um, I know I'm getting good vitamins, minerals. So I'm going to replace that fruit with vegetables. So now we have this meal that's morphed into something where they have their carbohydrate with the cereal. They have the milk provides proteins and fats. They have a glass of water for hydration. And they have the vegetables because we all could use more fruits and vegetables and vitamins and minerals that come from those things, right? So we're trying to make the nutrition part of it as easy as possible. And a great example for you that you can all do right now at home, wherever you are, is we call it like the, the hand game with food, okay? So if you can imagine a plate of food you have, and you take your hand. This is what's beautiful about this because your hand is right for you, okay? So if you're a bigger person, you've got a bigger hand. If you're a smaller person, smaller hand. So you've got your plate of food, you've got your protein. Make a fist. That's about the size of your protein portion that you need in that meal, okay? Take your hand, you cup it like so, and then you fill that with your carbohydrate. That's your carbohydrate you put on your plate. Take your thumb, that size of your thumb, is the amount of fat you need in that particular meal. Then the rest of your plate should be vegetables, okay? It's a really simple, easy way to make nutrition easy, make eating healthier easy without overcomplicating things, without having to track macros, without having to count calories, and all those things. Plus, it's made and customized for you, okay? Um, so, 
when it comes to those things, we kind of find that by working out, and I'm imagining that if you've experienced this or if you've worked out, you tend to want to eat better, right? And so we try to figure out why that is. And we're not 100% sure, but there are some theories floating around about that. The one that people have been talking about a lot recently is the idea of addition versus subtraction. So that means that instead of restricting your diet, subtracting something from your diet, let's add exercise. Let's crank up that metabolism from that side of the equation, force you to have to consume more calories just by working out on a regular basis and not have to change how much you eat. Then you can actually calorie reduce and therefore lose some weight, okay? The other theory, the one that I'm more geared towards because I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to the idea of the nervous system and the brain, is the idea that resistance training or resistance exercise is helps to improve executive brain function. Now, what does that mean? Well, executive brain function is like the higher order processes in your brain that help to help you to make decisions. Okay. You can imagine it's basically willpower. So you have willpower and resistance training helps to fill that battery up to full over the course of the day. And it gets drained and drained and drained. But by the time you're getting to dinner time and you've had a stressful day, it's not empty yet. And you're driving home and you have to make that decision. Do I pull off into McDonald's and get a meal because it's quick, it's easy, and it's right there? Or do I go home and make myself a delicious burger with farm fresh uh, cheese with a lettuce bun and avocado on top, right? That sounds a lot better, at least in my opinion. But do you have the power to make that decision? With resistance exercise, you're more likely to be able to and have the battery life in your executive function to make that choice. Because on the other side of the coin is if your battery is totally depleted, you're gonna to go to your instincts. And instincts say, what's the fastest, easiest way to get food in my stomach right now because I need it right now. And you can't make that decision. You pull off and you go to McDonald's and have that cheeseburger and fries that you eat so fast and consume so fast that by the time you get home, you're hungry again. And likely because you already screwed up and you already ate a poor meal, guess what? You're probably going to snack on crappy food at home as well, right? It's a snowball effect in the other direction, okay? So working out, getting better sleep, eating healthier, then let's roll into achieving goals, okay? So achieving goals. This is one where um, there are all kinds of ways to lose 10 pounds, right? You can do all the things we've already talked about. Start working out, eat better, try and get more sleep, or you can do things that are on the extreme and probably not that healthy. So things like restricting your diet, extreme restriction of your diet, like super, super low calories. You can go and sit in the sauna for an hour and sweat out a bunch of water, or you can, um, you know, go to a competitor of a healthy place uh, and get things like ephedra, basically legal speed um, to help to phallic spirit metabolism to a crazy degree and lose a bunch of weight. But is it healthy? No. And is it sustainable for a long time? Absolutely not. So instead, achievement of goals should be about the idea of being the person who loses 10 pounds. Because most people don't actually want to lose 10 pounds. What they want to do is they want to look, feel, and act like that person who in the mirror is 10 pounds lighter than them. Right. And so that's behavioral. That's all these things we've already talked about. That is getting in the gym regularly when you don't want to and when you do and working out. That is finding ways to sleep better. That is um, finding ways to eat healthier. And then that will be you behaving like the person who is achieving your goals. It's important to understand what it is that you're chasing and have a conversation with somebody who can help hold you accountable. But at the end of the day, it's about the process trusting the process, making that happen, and then that will build momentum into the last snowball, which is leading into said momentum, okay? So you got a snowball going, it's down the hill, it's big, it's strong, it's powerful, it's moving at a fast pace, and you're behind it pushing it. You've always got a choice. You've got two options. Option number one is that when you're there, you're going to ride the wave, okay? And that's something you can do. You can sustain. It still takes action on your part to keep that going, but you can just keep going and going with it and finding that, yes, the track I'm on is great. Or you can make the choice to keep pushing further and harder. 
early on in the process, it's easy to go from being on the couch to working out regularly, not too difficult. To go from being on your phone for 30 minutes before you go to bed to not turning it off, putting it away, not that difficult. Making your own meals at home versus constantly getting takeout, not that difficult. But things change when you want more than that. You want more results than that. You may have to no longer go out on Friday night and drink with your neighbor friends because you know it's going to be detrimental to the rest of the weekend and maybe have to find a new social group of friends. You got to make a decision. Or you know you want to work out on Sunday morning because it's going to set your Sunday up for a great day to get, in up, get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and get the workout in. But that means that you don't stay up until 1 in the morning and watch Netflix or a movie at night. So it's always a choice. And you can choose, again, lean into that momentum and keep riding the wave or push further and push harder. Okay? So for us, I go back to this one, we want to not just start working out, but actually start training. And so how do you do that with us at FIT? Well, we want to make it both easy and fun. Go ahead, Matt. So we know that it's going to take a lot of repetitions. It's going to take a lot of time. In fact, uh, there is uh, a study out there talking about habits that say that it doesn't take just 21 days to build a habit or 14 days or things that are out there. It takes, on average, 66 days to actually build a habit. That's why we put so much focus on the first two months of training at our gym. Um, and this little graphic that we have here from James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, is talking about behavior automaticity, right? This behavior being automatic. Workouts basically being like appointments. That's why we say it's a training process. We want you to get the repetitions in to get to that green line you see on that graphic where now it's like a part of who you are. It's a part of your routine. It's like an appointment that can't be changed, okay? And that to us is training because it's a process versus working out, okay? So look at this and go, how do you get started with us? We want to do a workout for the Windsor family. Go ahead and answer that. So March 19th, which is not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, we're gonna have a workout at our gym, functional integrated training at 12.30 uh, in the morning or early afternoon. Um, so it's gonna be the first ever get fit with wins workout, but that doesn't sound right. So Matt, next one, there we go, training session. All right, so um, next one, Matt. From 12.30 to 1.30, we'll work out, do the whole thing from warm up to cool down. Then after work, we kind of socialize, hang out, and have some light refreshments if you want to. Um, but we will have 20 spots available, so I want you to sign up ASAP uh, so that we can get everybody signed up that wants to and get them in right away and claim that spot. And the cost for it's gonna be $20 per participant, uh, and half the proceeds are gonna go to the Badger Prairie Needs Network. It's an organization that we've worked with a lot, and um, we feel very passionate about because we have a member of the executive director in our gym, uh, but also we know that it's uh, something that the Windsor family is passionate about as well. They're doing a fundraiser for them this Saturday uh, for their 10 pin uh, bowling extravaganza with the families. So um, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we wanna offer to you guys uh, in the recording that gets sent out. Andrew's going to include a link that you guys can go directly to. Uh, and I'll be there on uh, the Saturday at the bowling uh, event, and I'll have some some cards and QR codes, and you can obviously ask any questions there. So I have the last slide, which is any questions, which probably not going to get right now. So thank you all for listening. Uh, I look forward to talking to you and or seeing you at the Get Fit with Wins workout. Perfect. <clears throat> all right, thanks, Jared. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, clear that uh, Jared knows his stuff. So if you have any uh, further questions. Uh, feel free to reach out to him directly. We'll have his contact information um, as part of, of everything that we're going to send you um, uh, today. Um, on top of everything that Jared mentioned, he did talk about nutrition, how important it is. So we're going to have Evan come up from the Healthy Place and talk about nutrition and supplements and how that can work towards your overall goal of being that better you on becoming uh, healthier here in 2022. So I'll go ahead and have Evan come up and, and share with us um, about the Healthy Place and the supplements. Thanks, mm -hmm. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Matt.
Hello, everybody, through the camera, through your screen. That's awesome. Uh, we appreciate everyone for doing this and love what you guys do. So I'm Evan. I work at the Healthy Place. Our mission is to impact, empower, educate uh, you if you ever come in in your health. We educate people's health through supplements, nutrition. So I just want to give a broad overview of what are supplements, what do they do, um, how can you use them, why are they good, why does anyone take them? Uh, they are, in a nutshell, a concentrate of your healthiest foods. So if you go out and you go eat a salad or you eat kale, it is more nutrient dense. So we, in a supplement, takes the best stuff from kale, for example, and puts it into a pill. So it's like taking the power stuff from your already power superfoods um, and putting it in a pill. And then you use it for medicinal purposes. So um, a multivitamin everyone knows of, um, filling your gaps from food, that's what the multivitamin is. So um, I'm gonna go over now uh, three kind of big types of people that, that we get in the store and maybe you'll fit into this. Um, and a lot of people don't know this, so I hope this is somehow empowering to you or you know this is an opportunity. Um, we get a ton of people who come in for issues. So pain, you can actually get supplements like curcumin um, that have taken people off painkillers, like from medications and potentially harmful other things that they're doing. They can come in and take a orange pill and re relieve their pain, which is nuts. Um, and this, this product, it's a specific one. Another tip to be careful, like what kind, because turmeric curcumin products are like all over the place. Um, some are better than others. Uh, that is a cool thing for another, I guess, topic. But the one we provide, or if you ever look up UCM95, curcumin with 100 clinical studies used for cancer, dementia, Alzheimer's. Um, but that's just a, a fun tip. So some majority of people, in all honesty, come to us for an issue. And you can seriously find a nutrient first in the earth, then put into supplements that help with it. So other things that you might be dealing with issue-wise, cardiovascular health, blood sugar, cholesterol, um, blood pressure, all those things you can get nutrients for. Uh, those often fit in terms of workouts too, they're very helpful. You can dilate your blood vessels, clear out crap that's in your blood. And if you have high cholesterol or blood sugar issues, specifically cholesterol, like your circulation slower, and you'll therefore feel less energy, um, et cetera. Working out is the best thing probably for that, but you have su supplements help too. Um, the second big area um, is stress and anxiety. Maybe these times are uh, what does that, but there, that is a place where you can get a lot of help. Um, you have a nervous system that when stressed, or even when you gotta come in and look at a camera and match a person through there, it can go fast and that feels uncomfortable. And if you live like that every day, um, you can build some super strong health issues, like more adverse than, than probably anything else. It's, it's insane. Something that we, like life can affect us and cause this, but it causes severe um, health issues. There's things that calm the nervous system. So just calm it down. Um, CBD is a, a newer one that a lot of people know of, but there's so much that can help. There's uh, herbs, so these are, um, yeah, herbs that help your hormone system. So stress, uh, stress is known for having too much cortisol and that makes you feel tense. Um, and you can have herbs that you take uh, that calm that and also give you energy outside of caffeine. It helped me personally stop drinking 10 cups of coffee and went down to like six. So it's, it's good stuff. Uh, maca is an herb that ink and soldiers Age just for energy. Um, you can get this in a pill to help with your energy and stress. So infinite possibilities. Um, there's something specific for whatever you have. What are other common issues? Um, cancer is even huge. Uh, we've made some really big um, movements in people's lives through cancer and you can take a lot of supplements, but that's an area where you can just get some help. Um, I can't legal, legally say cure, but you can get some help. Um, workout performance, stress, anxiety, everyday health, stuff like that, fatigue, hormone balance. Uh, we have kids who take supplements who can't focus in school, um, 
pregnant or nursing mothers who use supplements just to help the, the uh, safety of their kid, those are all good places where you can help. Number two is a progressive um, thing. And I say progressive because if you look back at your parents or your parents' parents, what did they do or what information they have, they don't have access to all these nutrients from all over the world. Now is an interesting time where we legitimately have uh, education from all over the world and therefore supplements from all over the world. So curcumin is grown in India. So that is where it is. It grows well, you know, you can't grow it just anywhere. So that's from India. Now we have floods of it in the USA to get to you. And that is the case with all sorts of nutrients. So number two, um, people come to us often from an issue that they just hate, but number two is a plan. So we have what we call a foundational five. Um, it's a great thing to live by if you like maintaining health. Um, if you feel great today, it's kind of hard to do this. Be like, I want to nourish my health and I'm going to eat well, take supplements, whatever it may be to stay well or be better. Um, I love when people do that. So like, oh, if you guys do it, that'd be awesome from watching this video. Um, that includes, try to do this quick, um, a multivitamin that has 20 to 40 vitamins and minerals from your diet. It's very hard to get um, new, all of it from the food we eat for various, various reasons, but that is that. Uh, number two is omega-3, commonly known as a fish oil, um, but you can get flax too. Your brain's made up a lot of it. Your cells are lubricated by it. Um, it's needed to touch another cell for your body to work, so it's essential. Um, that's your offensive side. Defensive would be anti-inflammatories and antioxidants. So anti-inflammatories are helping the body through the inflammatory process. Inflammation is legitimately rooted as in like you're, you have high inflammation levels if you go to the doctor um, in 90% of health issues. There's nutrients known to help that get low, which is nuts. Antioxidants are like fruits, the things that um, fight oxidants. Legitimately, oxidation is like rust on your car, and that happens in the body. You've seen pictures of organs that look like rotty or rusty. That's legitimately what happens. It's a simple battle of we get toxins from so many things. Just check out the list. I'm not going to go over that forever right now. Uh, antioxidants counter that. They legitimately use their life to bind to a toxin in your bloodstream and get it out of the body. Um, it's exceptional. Another thing to describe supplements, our best antioxidant um, is a grape seed extract, the seed of a specific grape. They have a scale for antioxidants called the AURIC scale. So it stands for oxidative radical, bad stuff, absorbance capacity. So its ability to sponge up free radicals and toxins that live in your body. So a handful of blueberries would be 10,000 on that scale where a grapeseed extract would be 2 million. So when you're looking at that, you're like, holy buckets. That's exactly what a, a good supplement would be. It is a ton of a specific quality of a good food. Um, lastly is probiotics. That is your living gut organisms. They're very um, helpful for mood. 70% of your feel-good hormone or serotonin is produced from those aliens in there. You have 30 trillion living aliens in there. Um, some are good, some are bad. Um, I had a person today, who, for example, like I said, every day where a ton of stress, she's had severe gut issues. They're always kind of oddly related. Um, number two, probiotics absorb from the food you eat. So if you get nutrients in, they actually absorb them and utilize them. If your gut's bad, you can put as much good food in and it won't be as effective. And three, brain support. It's very uh, related to your brain. So that is like a foundational approach to supplements. And you can relate this to food, anything, um, you know, for example, eat anti-inflammatory foods, eat antioxidant foods. Um, you have your defense, offense, and your gut. If you have questions, let us know. Anyone at the store will know exactly how to educate you more. Um, Lastly is people, this is a rare occasion, more rare for people, but we have some people, they're oftentimes like business owners are just like, if you're really driven, you'll love this strategy. 
Um, they just take a boatload of everything. They're like, I want to be faster. I want to be stronger. I want to be able to do the hardest work in my brain all day long. And um, we have some people like that. Not everyone uh, should be there nor needs to be. But it's another cool thing. They really um, use supplements to fuel their life, fuel their productivity, get things done. And that all relates to what else you do, you know, time spent with your family, whatever it is. So it's all part of it. Um, your body is a mechanism. There's things to support it. Uh, that's that. So where are we at? Probably close. One or two. Um, yeah, other than that, I love that this is kind of, because you guys are like Dane County, right? Like kind of this area. It's amazing. Yeah, we are Dane County too. We deliver, do same day delivery, if you call it before too. Um, we carry really good products. We're specific on that. Everything's geared to you, uh, but we also price match them. So it's the cheapest, best products. Um, supplements, you pay more than a lot of like, you know, medications and stuff. That's a downfall. But then on the number two, you are feeling your vehicle of life. Like for example, even like immune supplements, you know, you can boost your immune system to fight virus that you get. And that's just a con a great concept to, to kind of mentally understand and say, okay, I can, I can, you know, boost this immune response in my body. Um, if there's anything else, we have a three month in-store credit policy. If something we recommend doesn't work. So, um, you can call our store. Everyone's very educated. And it gives us the power to recommend what we think is good. And for you, if it doesn't work, you can go back to us and find a way. Um, so if you guys have any questions, call. We're here for you. Uh, you have a blessed night. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Evan. Appreciate it. Yeah, and what Evan uh, was saying there is that um, everybody at their store um, is super educated. So as, as sharp as he is, you'll find people just as sharp um, when you pop into any one of their locations. And you have five locations around town now? Four. Four locations. I'm getting ahead of Tim. He's probably working on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can also find some more information on their website, findyourhealthyplace.com. Um, otherwise, they're located right across the parking lot here from our office, which is right in the parking lot of um, the Fitchburg Target. So uh, go ahead, pop in there, go with your ailments that you might have, some stress that you might be dealing with, you want to hit that foundational five better, if you want to work on that gut health, if you want to just elevate your productivity, um, these guys have this stuff uh, for you to, to start seeing if you can start living healthier and living better. So um, if you have questions, again, feel free to reach out to Evan or any of those guys at The Healthy Place. Um, we want to thank Jared for coming out. Um, he'll be at our bowling event. So uh, our clients, if you guys are coming by, you'll be able to uh, maybe pick his brain on Saturday. Um, otherwise, look for that uh, the link to join us for the the, uh, the training session uh, coming up on the 19th. Um, and otherwise, uh, we're here for any of your real estate needs. So feel free to reach out to myself or our team. We'd be happy to be a resource for you as well. I hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy. Thank you so much. Take care.